This is United Inside News. David De Gea sends message to Bruno Fernandes after Manchester United ace stars for Portugal. Bruno Fernandes grabbed two assists for Portugal on Friday night, helping them secure Euro 2024 qualification. David De Gea has congratulated former Manchester United teammate Bruno Fernandes after he helped his native Portugal qualify for next year's European Championship. Portugal, who conquered Europe back in 2016, sealed their place at next summer's showpiece event in Germany with a 3-2 win over Slovakia in Porto on Friday evening. Cristiano Ronaldo netted a brace and was joined on the score sheet by Paris Saint-Germain striker Goncalo Ramos, who opened the scoring. Fernandez helped himself to two assists, teeing up Ramos and then Ronaldo for his second of the game with just under 20 minutes remaining. Fellow United star Diogo Dalot also featured. Fernandez's two assists took his number of goal involvements in Euro 2024, qualifying to 11, featuring four goals and seven assists. He has played an instrumental role in helping Portugal win each of their opening seven qualifying games, so much so that he has racked up five assists in just his last two matches. Furthermore, Portugal, who have joined France and Belgium as well as hosts Germany in qualifying for next summer's tournament, have clinched qualification with three games to spare. They will be hoping to end their qualifying campaign with a 100% record and maintain their recent run of good form. With qualification officially in the bag following the triumph over Slovakia, Fernandez took to Instagram to celebrate his nation's achievement. He posted on the social media site, seven wins in seven games and the first goal achieved, accompanied with a love heart emoji. Fernandez's post, unsurprisingly, prompted a wave of responses, one of which was from former teammate De Gea, who is still without a club after leaving United during the summer. Seemingly congratulating the attacking midfielder on his achievement, De Gea replied, Way to play. It comes following De Gea's return to Manchester last week to sort out the house he had lived in in Hale during his time at United. The keeper visited a local Padel court before watching the United women's team draw one, one in their first-ever Champions League game. The Spaniard then met up with his countrymen and new Reds left back Sergio Reguilon for a well-deserved catch-up, again and again. Manchester United could make a move to sign Everton star Amadou Onana after Casemiro picked up an injury following a blow to the ankle while on international duty with Brazil. As things stand, there is no clarification on how long Casemiro will miss, but he had asked to be brought off in the 79th minute of Brazil's one, one draw with Colombia, according to Talk Sports. The Liverpool Echo have credited Manchester United with a long-term interest in Onana, but they claim the Red Devils would have to break the bank to prize him away from Goodison Park. The Liverpool Echo report suggests Everton believe the Belgian international can become as good as, or even better than the Ecuadorian Moises Caicedo, who joined Chelsea from Brighton over the summer in a British record £115 million deal. Onana is typically more of an advanced player than Casemiro, who tends to sit at the base of the Manchester United midfield, while the Belgian prefers to operate in a more advanced role on the ball but his boss Sean Dyche recently claimed he can play anywhere in midfield. Amadou's young, he's learning. We want him to be open-minded about the difference in three roles, the Everton boss told Liverpool World. He certainly got the physical capabilities to go into the 10 spot and crash the box from wide areas, but his history suggests he's slightly better deeper. Onana has also come into some criticism recently, with claims he can become anonymous in games and needs to improve his consistency, while his display on international duty with Belgium saw him lose the ball in the build-up to Albania's opening goal before being sent off for two bookable offenses. The midfielder still has a way to go before he can be considered good enough for Eric Ten Hag's midfield, but Manchester United, especially recently, aren't exactly famed for expertise in the transfer market. In other Everton news, Onana has responded to his poor international display. On the other side, Manchester United are waiting on updates on Casemiro after the midfielder suffered an ankle injury while playing for Brazil. Casemiro was substituted 11 minutes from the end of their one, one draw with Venezuela. Brazil are scheduled to play again in Uruguay in the early hours of Wednesday morning. The 31-year-old, who is captain of the national team, asked to come off in the game in Cuiaba, and he was replaced by Andre. Brazil manager Fernando Diniz announced, he asked to come off due to a blow to his ankle, again and again. Sheikh Jassim is set to withdraw his bid to take over Manchester United, 
according to reports. Qatari politician Jassim, 64, was one of two candidates in the frame to buy the club from the Glazer family, along with British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe, who wants a 25% stake in the club. But now Fabrizio Romano is claiming Jassim, who was proposing a complete takeover, is ready to pull out of the process as it continues to drag on. The transfer expert tweeted, Sheikh Jassim has had further discussions with Glazer's family to buy 100% of Manchester United. Sheikh Jassim's bid proposition has been rejected again by Glazer's family. As a result, Sheikh Jassim informed Glazer's that he's ready to withdraw from the process. Meanwhile, Brighton star and Manchester United target Kaoru Matoma's stunning performances have earned him interest from one Europe's biggest clubs. According to Mundo Deportivo, Barcelona have been seduced by the 26-year-old's exploits with the Seagulls. In fact, Barca's scouts and staff are most amazed with the Japan International out of all of their other transfer targets. Matoma has won the Blaugrana over thanks to the way he breaks defenses from the left wing. On the other side, Andre Onana could make a stunning return to Inter Milan one day, according to their CEO Giuseppe Marotta. Speaking at the Gazzetta dello Sport Festival, Marotta discussed the possibility of Onana ever returning to the Nerazzurri. He said, Anything can happen in football, even if those who return do not always have positive results. It was an important experience for him and for us. It was also a very successful deal for us to get him for free and sell him for all that money. Elsewhere, Jesse Lingard is closing in on a move to Saudi Pro League side Al Etifak, according to reports. The former Manchester United forward 30 has been a free agent since he was released by Nottingham Forest in the summer. He was training with West Ham, but failed to secure a contract with David Moyes' men. Since then, he has jetted off to join up with Steven Gerrard's Al Etifak. According to Sky Sports, he is expected to sign with the Middle East outfit. But the foreign player's rule means he will not be able to play for the club until January, again and again. Ilanga opens up on perfect start to life after Man United. Anthony Ilanga said his situation at Nottingham Forest is perfect after signing for them from Man United in the summer. Speaking to Fotball's Kanalan, he said, It has been perfect. I talked to the leaders before I came here. I know what the leaders want and how to play. The project and everything there is perfect for me. Ilanga has one goal and one assist since joining Steve Cooper's side. Meanwhile, Barcelona not planning on Sancho move in January Barcelona are reportedly not planning to make a loan transfer offer for Jadon Sancho in January. Reports had suggested Sancho could be offered an escape route by the Spanish giants. However, Sport now claims Xavi's side will not make a move unless there is an unexpected departure from the team, but have been keeping tabs on the winger. Sancho's high wages are also seen as a stumbling block to any move due to Barca's own cash flow issues.